Here we have something plus 24 equals 82. So how can we find the missing number? Well, with a number family triangle, the numbers at the bottom add to make the number at the top. But we don't know this number at the bottom. But there's a way for us to find out this other bottom number. What can we do? Well, with number family triangles, we know that if we subtract a bottom number from a top number, we get the other bottom number. So let's find that missing number by subtracting 24 from 82. So we start on 82, subtract 10, we get 72, subtract another 10, and we get 62. So we've subtracted our two tens. Now we need to subtract four units. So let's count back four from 62. 61, 60, 59, 58. So we've subtracted four units to give us our answer 58. So that missing number in our triangle is 58. So 58 plus 24 equals 82. And if you want to make sure, you can do 58 plus 24 and check that the answer does come to 82. Now we have something minus 32 equals 38. So what will our number family triangle look like? Well, with subtraction, the number we start on is the larger number. So we don't know what our larger number is, but we have 32 and 38 on the bottom. So how can we find the number at the top? Well, remember, with number family triangles, we know that if you add the numbers at the bottom, you get the number at the top. So let's do 38 add 32. We start on 38, add 10, we get 48, another 10, 58, and a third 10, 68. So we've added our three tens. Now we can add one, two units to 68. So we've added our two units and we have our answer 70. So 70 is the top number of our fa number family triangle. So 70 minus 32 is 38. And if you want to check that, you can do 70 minus 32 to make sure you do get the answer 38.